Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how the, the popover is working. The popover in the bootstrap view is a, is a feature like the it provides a tooltip a tooltip like the function and the, the, the good one is, is that it's, it's more uh, powerful so you can do more nice stuff with it. So that's what I want to show you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing in the right corner below. And uh, I think we are ready to, to go ahead and uh, and do some code. So let's starting uh, by build the first uh, very uh, very basic one. For this we want uh, a button to say VB pop over. And we want to say when you hover, then we want to place it in the top. So say my first pop over content. That's the only thing you want to add. And uh, we just create a title here. Title. And say pop over. And that's it. Want to set the button and first pop over. Let's go in for the browser and see how it's working. And you can see it's a pop over and it's trying to the top because we are so uh, close on the top it will be pushed down in the, in the bottom. So yeah that's fine. Let's go back and the next one we want to now it's uh, we want to show how we can make the button and make the ID of it as a target and then when you bind uh, a popover and the button together in a target then we can do this. So let's do it here. Over me and we just say popover target one. And then we build uh, B pop over target and then we have the target here and we want to say want to say triggers is a hover and placement should be top Right now we basically do the same as we, we do up here, but in a more uh, in a more custom way, so we can just customize it a little bit more if we want. Inside we want the template, and the template should be V slot. Oops. Title, and for this we want to say pop over title. And then we want one more. Nope, we don't want one more. We just say I am pop over the component content. And now we basically have allowed to create HTML inside the pop over. And that's going back for the browser and see how that's working. You can see pop over here and it's working. You can see the pop over title and I am a pop over component. So that's probably working right now, so that's perfect. Let's go back and continue a little bit more. Now as the popover we have the different variants. As default is a it's a it's a default one, but if we want to change a little bit, let's copy this one. Then we just say target here the two and over me to let's just say target two and up here I'll just say oops, target one so we can see what happening and the uh, downs below here I will just uh, on the bottom uh, I'll just say the buy end so primarily and uh, then we basically say the pop over here and say the 
variant should be let's say danger and if I'm going back to the browser and you can see it's red now so it's a blue button with the red uh, component uh, pop over so that's how we can change change the, the way for the color of course and, uh, and that's worked perfectly I think the the last thing we want to speak about it's how we can have multi pop-ups uh, let's work together so let's uh, let's try that let's go down here and make the break what I mean is uh, multi uh, buttons that work together with one single pop-up I'm a little uh, clumsy right now but yeah let's uh, let's make the, the pop-up here B button for this button we need uh, uh, we can just add uh, the ID again pop over button event and the uh, variant should be family I'll just add this one so it's a little bit more easy to, to read and the uh, Down below here, we want to say the U and the P2. Inside this, we have the button. And we have a class. It doesn't is generic, just for me. Here, and we have a click event. We want to unopen. And what we call this button should be open. And then we basically just copy this button. And uh, close on close. And then we have to pop over down here. B pop over. Ref should be pop over. And target should be pop over. Pop over bottom event. And the title should be pop over. Let's Put a little bit more up here. And just say hello world. That's the only thing we want. And if I'm going in my browser now, it's almost working. If I'm focused up here. But those two buttons here doesn't work, so if it's here I need to click close to close it and if I'm here I should be able to click open so let's go back for the code and scrolling down for the methods down in the methods we can have on open and we can have on close the only thing we need now is just say this refs pop over, emit, emit is meaning we, we trigger some function for that and we just say open and in the, in the button here we can just say close and if I'm going back to the browser now and say open, close, click it up, close, open, I cannot open, I can do it here, I can open and I can close it again. Do it this way, and again, it's working. So that's a little bit about uh, how the popover is working. I really hope it's useful, and you're welcome to ask questions in the below uh, the video in the comments field. And I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can click on the thing below in the right corner, and then you subscribe. I really hope you want to press the like button, and I really hope you want to share that. 
video. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.